So today I was just having a quick look at your swim stroke to see what areas we might be able to work on in order to improve your speed. The first thing that I notice is your body position. Your hips are pretty low in the water. You are trying to counterbalance with your head. I keep seeing you bring your chin down to your chest, which is definitely a good thing to do, um, but it's definitely not um, taking care of the problem. Really what you're going to have to focus on is pulling your belly button up to your back, um, almost like you're sucking in your stomach, and you're going to really need to lean on your chest and push down on your chest in order to pop your hips up to the surface of the water. Um, that is really going to be the most significant thing that you can do um, in order to change your speed in the water. The next thing is your catch. What's happening is you are starting your catch um, in a pretty good position, but you're bringing your elbow close into your body constantly and getting absolutely no catch. Um, your arm is fairly deep in the water. I'd like to see it a lot closer to your body as well, so like you're swimming in shallow water. Um, but the, the entire theory on the catch is that if you stick your elbow out towards the the sides of the pools like the chicken wings um, and get that hand underneath your elbow so that you can really grab. Um, we talked about anchoring your hand and then pulling your body over your hand. Um, you would get a lot more power in the water and right now you're swimming correctly you're just not um, getting a lot of power out of your stroke and that's because of that lack of anchoring your hand and really pulling your body over your hand. Um, I'd like to see you work on the chicken wings that we talked about where you really stick your arms out to the side um, and push those hands down the side of your body. Um, I talked a little bit here about your recovery as well. Um, just getting a nice high elbow on the recovery. Um, doing catch-up drill would be another good thing for you to do because here when you're just swimming you can see when you go to breathe you tend to push down with that leading arm while you're breathing see and basically it's just not allowing you to hold your extension and you're pushing down in order to push your body up when really you want to be pulling back to push your body forward And this all is all in slow motion, so please don't be concerned about that. Here we can just see from another angle um, where you're pulling. Uh, you can see where your arm comes very close to your body, like your upper arm, which isn't giving you any power. Here you start in a really good position, but then you bring that arm in close to your body right away. So you are starting in a good place. Um, but I think fixing body position and working on your catch, those two are going to really be the key for you to changing how you swim. They are game changers. They are worth spending a lot of time and focus on over the next few months. Um, but it's going to be hard to change your swim stroke because you have been swimming for a long time. So don't get frustrated. Here you see hand is clearly under your elbow. Here not so much, so just a little something to work on. Um, definitely not the focus, but just a little something extra. But overall, I think if you work on these few things, you're going to see some really big differences because of your comfort level in the water already.